Hi, I'm Andy, and we're going to talk today about our Custom Attributes for Catalog API. Custom Attributes provide a way to add additional information to existing catalog objects. For example, a wine merchant might like to store data such as vintage, origin, and tasting notes for each bottle of wine they sell. This data could be used in multiple ways to help the merchant's business. In searches, it can help locate the right product for a buyer, to improve reporting, or to populate an order ahead menu. Developers can create custom attributes and add them to a merchant's account as long as they have the appropriate permissions. There are four types of custom attribute available. String, decimal, boolean, and selection. A string, decimal, and boolean are pretty straightforward. A string is text, decimal is a number, and boolean is true or false. So let's look a bit closer at that last one, a selection attribute. A selection type field is a list of available options on the front end that will appear as a list for the merchant to select from. With selections, you choose either a multi or single selection type. For example, a single selection for a wine might be a variety with options like Chardonnay or Pinot Noir, because a bottle of wine would only be one of those, not both. On the other hand, an example of a multi-selection would be something like allergens, where a restaurant could select both dairy and gluten for a menu item that contains both. Whether you'd like to store metadata as a string, boolean, decimals, or selections, Catalog Custom Attributes helps you do it in a well-formed way. If you want to find more information on custom attributes, please head over to our documentation linked in the notes below. We can't wait to see what you build.